Good morning, Year 5, and welcome to today's RE lesson. I will be taking on our RE lessons uh, as of today for the rest of the term now. You will not need Miss Mertz for them, so it'll be me doing the videos and uh, the setting up the activities. So today, as always, open up your books for me. Uh, today's topic, which is RE, and then today's LO to understand the Buddhist pilgrimage, and today's date, Tuesday, the 26th of January. Now, just before we begin, I know you've had a little look about pilgrimage, pilgrimages already. Um, but we're going to recap that a little bit first and then we're going to focus primarily on the Buddhist pilgrimage because we haven't really looked upon that one or you haven't looked upon that one with Miss Mertzi yet. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So Buddhist pilgrimages then. So first of all, we're going to talk about pilgrimage, pilgrimages themselves and journeys. So what exactly is a journey? And I want you to tell me what you think a journey is. So just write it down in your book. It just has to be a sentence or two. And then tell me when and why you've gone on a journey. So maybe so just a quick sentence explaining what you think a journey is. And then tell me a quick example of when you've been on a journey, where you went and why you went there. What did you do? Okay, so just something brief, only a few lines, nothing too major on that one. So pause the video, give that a go for me, and then we will carry on with the rest of our lesson. Okay. So we're going to move on from our journey. So we know that we go on journeys often to go on to a pilgrimage. Okay, so what is a pilgrimage exactly? Um, so a pilgrimage is a special type of journey. It is a journey, usually a long, long one for many people, to a special place that is usually uh, for religious reasons. These special places are considered sacred, so either connected with God or a God. They are different places of wor worship, such as churches, or temples, as they are considered to be important by everyone in the religion. Some or all people belonging to the religion would want to make the journey to that special place at some point in their lives. So, for example, we've got here uh, a church being a place of wor a worship for Christians. It's not necessarily somewhere where um, you know a Christian would really want to go to travel on a journey because that's just a general place of worship. Um, however, Mecca is more of a place of pilgrimage for Muslims because it's obviously that one place in the whole world where everybody wants to go, okay, as part of their religion. It's a sacred place linking to God, okay? And for Buddhists, they have, um, they find pilgrimage, pilgrimages very, very important. It's a big thing for them, okay? So that's what we're going to be looking at today, and we're going to be focusing on the most important Buddhist pilgrimage sites, which is known as the Eight great places okay so here we have our eight great places um for the buddhist pilgrimages sites okay so we've got our first one here which is lumbini which is where the buddha was born so perhaps um buddhists may want to go there to see where the buddha was born you've got shravasti so it was a major city where buddha spent a great deal of time he performed two miracles there where flames came from his upper body and streams of water from his lower body okay so he performed miracles he's a god so people want to go there to see where he performed these miracles we've got sankasa as a place which is where buddha came down to earth from heaven so people may want to visit there as well we have kusanara which is where buddha died so sometimes people want to go and visit where their god died okay um, as part of a pilgrimage, they may even want to visit all of these sites. Uh, we've got Sarnath as one of the eight great places, which is where Buddha delivered his first teaching. So we know Buddhists in general, they, uh, Buddha did a lot of teachings um, to his followers, okay? Uh, and this is where he completed his first one. So that might be an important place. Uh, Vaishali, oh, sorry about that. Vaishali, so we've got a place where Buddha was given the gift of a bowl of honey by a band of monkeys so one of the stories of um buddhists okay this is where one of those big stories happened okay so when they, he received a bowl of honey by a band of monkeys sounds pretty crazy okay uh we've got the bodh gaya now which is the place where buddha gained enlightenment so one of the main places about uh buddhism is reaching enlightenment a state of perfection uh mainly within the mind um, so you may, that is a big place where a lot of Buddhists I know go, um, because it's, you know, it's one of the major parts of Buddhism itself, reaching enlightenment. And that's where it happened for Buddha. That's where Buddhists themselves want to go to try and reach enlightenment themselves. And finally, we've got, uh, Rajgir here, which is where Buddha subdued an angry elephant through friendliness. So again, one of the big stories of Buddhism. Okay. So he managed to calm down an elephant just through using 
uh, friendliness. Okay, so it's one, another miracle that happened. So what I want you to do now is you might want to run through back through the PowerPoint. I just want you to write a quick uh, sentence on each of these uh, eight great places just describing what happened there. So you might just put Lumbini and then put a little dash next to it and put place of Buddha's, Buddha's birth. Something simple like that. Okay, just for all eight of these uh, into your books, please, year five. And then once you've done that, uh, we are going to be completing a little quiz. So make sure you pause the video. Uh, rewind the video to find out all the information, maybe get your own information from online if you want, that's absolutely fine. And then we'll go through our quiz. So do that for me now, please. Okay, so you should have done that now. Let's go through our quiz then. So we've got our eight great places quiz. Why is Lumbini then a place of pilgrimage for Buddhists? So is it because, oops, is it because it's where Buddha spent a lot of time? Is it because it's where Buddha was born? Or is it where Buddha first delivered his teaching? So have a little think about this one. You don't need to write anything in your books. Just try and answer it in your head. You've got your notes in your books as well. So if you put the number one, it's where Buddha spent a lot of time, you would be incorrect. If you put it's where he delivered his first teaching, you'd be incorrect. It is in fact where Buddha was born. So give yourself, um, make sure you're marking yourself for the quiz. There's only five questions, so make sure you give yourself a mark out of five at the end for me. So where did B Buddha subdue an animal? Okay, so we spoke about this being a bit of a miracle. So was it in Rajgir? Was it in Lumbini? Or was it in Vaishali? Okay, so if you put Lumbini, you're incorrect. Vaishali's incorrect. It was, in fact, Rajgir where he subdued the elephant through friendliness to calm down the elephant. Okay. Next one then, so what did the band of monkeys, so remember we spoke about this being one of the big Buddhist teachings, uh, or one of the stories, what did this band of monkeys give Buddha? Was it a glass of honey? Was it a plate of honey? Or was it a bowl of honey? Okay, so we know it's honey. What was it given him? If you put a glass, you're incorrect. A plate, you're incorrect. Incorrect. It was in fact a bowl. So give yourself a tick if you got that one. Uh, the place where Buddha gained an enlightenment, what was that called? Was it called Bodhvaya, Bodhgaya, or Bodhgoyo? Okay, so which of these um, three options, where was the place in which Buddha gained enlightenment? If you put the first one, you were incorrect. If you put the third one, you were incorrect. It was, in fact, the second one, Bodhgaya. Okay, and I think this is the last question. So the locations associated with Buddha performing miracles are, okay, so was it these four places, these four places, or these four places? Now really have a think about these guys, okay? So you might not have worked out, uh, it may not necessarily said miracles in, your, uh, in the PowerPoint before, but it may have hinted at what would have been a miracle. Okay, so it is in fact not that one, not that one, but the third one, okay? So we had Sankasa, which is where the miracle happened, where Buddha came from heaven to earth. That counts as a miracle, although it wasn't specifically mentioned as a miracle, it was. Uh, we've got Vaishali, um, which is where... Two seconds here, five, sorry. Uh, apologies for that year five just had a question asked for me um so yeah so the miracles we worked out is this bottom one so we had sankasa uh where it came from heaven to earth by charlie was when the monkeys gave the honey the band of monkeys gave the honey to buddha okay so that was a miracle the fact that the monkeys were doing that you got shravasti uh which is where the miracles happened where the flames came from the upper body and the water from the bottom half of the body and uh, Raj Gear, which is the elephant story again, where we managed to calm down the elephant was a miracle. So give yourself a mark out of five for those questions. And then finally, what I'd like to do year five is here, I want you to do a little fact file of your own on one of the eight places uh, that the Buddhists like to pilgrim, uh, pilgrimage to. So you'd write the place at the top, it's gonna to look something like this. So you write the place at the top, and then I just want you to add some information below, just a short paragraph, maybe some bullet points in there. If you wanna do it on a Word document, Instead of writing it in your book, that's fine. Um, as long as you're taking images of it and sending it in, that's okay, or um, however you'd like to do that. So yeah, you can write this in your book, that's fine. You can do a Word document if you want, that's absolutely fine. Because uh, if you're using Word, you can then use the internet to get a little image of the location on the map. Uh, you can draw your own location if you want to. Um, but yeah, all of that information, get it down on a fat file for me, and make sure, please, you are sending in your work at the end of the day. Okay. Thank you very much, Year 5. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day.